morning in effect from 2 o'clock a.m. on Friday until 5 o'clock a.m. on Saturday. The National Weather Service is expecting 4 to 8 inches of snow here in the Pinedale area. All right, it's March 10th, and for some reason I signed up for the Drift 100 again. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder myself. Uh, this year is going to be a little different. Uh, first of all, I have a beard, so that's different. I grew that just for the race. Um, second, uh, the weather looks a lot more stormy this year than last time I did it. Last time I did it, it was really cold, uh, which actually wasn't too bad for most of the race. It made the conditions pretty firm on the snow, it made the traveling pretty easy. Um, today, we're expected, I don't know, anywhere from 6 to 12 inches of snow. Could be more up in the mountains, who knows? Maybe a little bit of wind. Um, so I think that's going to make it a lot more challenging this year. I am not really excited about that, but I think I'll just plan for it to be terrible. And then if it's not, then bonus, right? So I, I weighed my bike in with all my gear and food and water, and I was just under 59, well, I was just under 60 pounds, about 59 pounds, uh, which is still a lot. Um, but it was about as light as I could get it, taking all the stuff that I needed to take. But I'll give you some updates along the trail. Hopefully I make it out this year and don't have to pay $200 to be snow machine back to the beginning. Well, here we are, ready or not. So we start here. I'm here at the parking lot right now. And our first aid station is here at Strawberry Shelter, which is about 25 miles in. And we kind of head this direction. And then this section right here, this is where it's the worst. It's so terrible. I think that's about mile 34, 35. There's just a lot of ups and downs and uh, it's tough. And then eventually we get up here to the Sheridan uh, shelter so that's about 50 miles in um if i can make it to there i feel like i'm gonna do all right we'll just see how that goes all right well i'm only like maybe three miles into this thing it's pretty bad a lot of drifts a lot of patchy spots so you can ride for a little bit and then you have to push for a little bit just stopped maybe half a mile back and aired down another bunch of pressure out of my tires and that made a huge difference I probably should have done that four or five miles ago oh but so I'm moving a little bit better not any faster but at least I'm able to stay on top of the snow a little bit more okay I'm about 11 miles in still have another about 14 and a half miles to get to strawberry checkpoint um and i think at this point i've already decided that i'm not going past strawberry like i know what's beyond there and i know what the conditions are like right now and i know what kind of shape i'm in right now i think it's a bad idea so i think my plan will be get to strawberry maybe just spend the night there then ride out from strawberry back to the parking lot That'll get me like, I don't know, 40, 50 miles total, but that's where my brain is right now. That's where my legs are right now. I know that it's only about noon, and I think about three o'clock it's supposed to get hammering us with some snow and some wind. So I, it's only gonna get worse. So I think it's smart not to go the whole, th whole way.
my goal has been to ride as much as possible. There's just so much walking that you have to do. I'm about mile 13. Um, I remember this part from last time. There was a little bit of downhill and it was pretty smooth riding. It was actually kind of a relaxing part, but nope, it's still just more of this and more work. So more than halfway to Strawberry right now. Looking forward to getting there. They better have a Pepsi for me this year. That's all I'm hoping. Not sponsored. Although I should be. I drink enough Pepsi. Just under 14 miles. Sometimes I really question myself. So if you're wondering what it's like to participate in the drift, at least in 2023, just find yourself a bike, put 20 or 30 pounds of gear on it, just go push it through a snowy field for several miles. That's my experience right now. I mean, it is pretty out here, don't get me wrong. But, slow progress, not much happening. I did stop and eat some lunch, probably a half hour back. That's helped a little bit, just rejuvenate my energy. But not enough to convince me to keep going past Strawberry. I do think the beard was a good idea this year though. Not regretting that at all. So when you're hiking a bike, what's the proper technique or the proper position for the pedals. Should the pedal be forward or should it be back? If you have an opinion on that, drop a comment, let me know. Pedal forward, pedal back. walking on the right hand side pushing my bike on the left so I don't post hole off the side. Right now. Alright, just past 15.2 miles. I tried to 
to get around this guy with a sled. I almost hit a sled and I had to stabilize myself. And in doing so, man, my thighs cramped up. I'm in a little bit of trouble here. So I might just see if I can walk for a little bit and hopefully get back on the ride in a minute. So you can see I actually do ride the bike every once in a while. This spot's actually pretty nice. So Eric, tell me what you think about your first uh, drift experience. Huh. My first, uh, my first nine miles was hell on earth just because of how much snow and how much it drifted. I mean, I think maybe two, two and a half miles, three miles of biking, the rest walking or some variation of it. Yeah, pretty bad. Things are getting better. Yeah, we're at mile 20. So why did you decide to do the drift? My, my neighbor talked me into it. And what's your plan after the drift? To move away. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. I thought you said you were going to punch him and then uh, run. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Punch suck and then run. Probably a good idea. <laughs> About four miles to go. I don't know. We have some cool uh, points. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, some hot cocoa there? Some good job. Alrighty. So we do have some ramen too. Oh. You want some ramen? Let's break out the ramen. Um drying yeah. stuff out. Yeah. I'll, I'll just try that. Okay. Do you want to get her a ramen, Delaney? Do you want chicken or beef? Duke Edward. <coughs> and how many years have you been involved with the drift? Every year that they've done the hundred miles. So it's our fourth year. Uh we were on the strawberry aid station. We help out throughout the year with odds and ends and small little projects, jobs, a lot of labor work, logistics, that kind of stuff. And then um, the week before we get busy and then we come up actually the, the night before the drift starts. So we come up on um, Thursday and start getting everything set up for the aid station for the race on Friday. Yeah, so we're the, we're the first and the fourth stop on the drift race. Um, we tend to do baked potatoes every year for some reason. It's, it's met with some joy and some hatred. Um, we also do a top ramen bar, and then this year we're introducing pizzas. We brought a pizza oven up, and we can bake pizzas in like a minute. And so we're going to have fresh baked pizzas for everybody on the, on the last stop through. I'm hoping the pizzas are a hit. I'm pretty excited about it. So, And then we got snacks, candy, all sorts of things like that. Coffee, hot water, all the kind of usual staples. Uh, one of the race coordinators, Darren Hull, talked to me about coming and doing the aid station the first year, and he was just looking for volunteers and help, and it sounded like a lot of fun, and it has been, and my family looks forward to it every year. So, so this year, 2023, is definitely way tougher than any of the years, um, solely based on weather. Just having a big blizzard come through and windy and dumping a foot of snow made the race significantly harder for everybody involved, from racers to um, you know volunteers helping and stuff. It just really made things difficult, but it's still fun. I love snow, so it's cool. So we're still mid-race, so we'll see. Last year was a little rough, and we had like 50% dropout, so I would imagine we're probably going to be above that. Um, you know, already we're closing in on 50% just for stop number one, and they still got to come back around again for stop number four. So I imagine it's probably going to be 60, 75%. Yes, it's been a lot longer for everybody to get to the aid station the first time. And, you know, in years past, it's been, you know, 11 o'clock, even noon. Um, we've seen people in this year, it's 930 in the evening, and people are still aren't here yet. So it's been a, it's been a brutal year. Sure. Yeah, so I've never done the race. There's only so much advice I can have other than just uh, make sure you prepare and, and travel lightly. Uh, first of all, my name's Dave. And a um, year ago, did the 28 miler. Was kind of thinking along the lines, was starting to get me back bike packing. I wanted to try some of the winter side of things, so did the 28. Um, on kind of a skin, like a uh, specialized fused so three and a quarter inch tires not the greatest idea but I think that anybody that does things like this is really good at bad ideas so um, 
got a fat bike this winter and been training for the last five years because I or five months because I really wanted to do the Drift 100. One thing to note this this year, and I'm sure that other people are going to capture, was the weather was impressive. So it was just slog, slow going. I thought that the 28 was a perfect prequel, but it's a it's a big jump, big big jump to the hundred, even to make it, you know, to a point of turnaround, not even finishing the hundred. It's a big jump. You gonna do it? You gonna come back and try it again? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Next year, for sure. Yeah, 2024, maybe. Yep. Okay. Okay. Off the field, and he is gone. All right, so it's just a little past seven and sun is out and we're going to head back to the lodge, calling it quits, but hopefully we have some pretty good trails. You ready, Eric? How'd you sleep last night? Like a baby. Yeah, you said you didn't wake up at all, huh? did wake up once. Yeah, I slept okay, but not great. So looking forward to a nice, comfortable bed tonight. I think it just got lo low pressure overnight. Yeah. It's probably fine. Uh, we pulled in yesterday. This is literally 80% of the course. It's just too too deep to, to run in. Whole lot of nothing. I think we're about four miles from Strawberry right now. And it's just mostly been flat. A little bit ups and downs like this. Looks like we have at least another mile, mile and a half to go before we hit the downhill. So I didn't get much footage of this last time because all my cameras were frozen and dead. Not quite as windy as last time I was here. Going. How are you? Good. How's it looking this way? About the same. You get down here, it gets a lot harder. We'll call back. Okay. You guys need water or anything? No, I think we're good. Beer? <laughs> no, we're good. Not good, huh? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's a brutal race. Huh? Last night was tough. Where'd you guys stay at last night? Strawberry. Strawberry. That's yeah. Good. yeah. Yeah, we made it there and called it quits. So. Good. Yeah. We'll be heading back and forth if you need some. Okay? Sounds good. All Thanks. Right. Appreciate what you guys do. Take more of that. Yeah. So
so if you fall off the trail it's pretty soft on the shoulders I want to stay on the packed surface this is pretty deep Let's see if I can make it out of it oh that was fun So we're about nine miles past Strawberry and we come to this hill, this climb. And I remember this from last time. It seems pretty demoralizing at this point. Yeah. Hitting this, it was dark and I was cold. It's like, you're kidding me, like one more hill? Like, and it's, it's pretty brutal. So pretty steep for a little bit. I feel like it's a little out of place, but we can do it. Looks like their day was almost as bad as ours yesterday. Needs an off-road recovery. All right, well, I made it back to the parking lot. So instead of being the Drift 100, it was like the Drift 44. So I'm gonna load my bike and then I gotta check in at the Kendall Valley Lodge. So they know that I'm done and then I'm going home and Probably gonna sleep, is my guess. So, just checked in at the Kendall Valley Lodge, let them know that I was off the course and said goodbye to Eric, met his family. They were there eating some lunch. Definitely a much tougher course than it was last time, just because of the weather. Obviously, I didn't finish, but you know, I don't feel bad about it. I think it was the right decision to stop at strawberry and only do the drift 44 conditions are everything with this race there's going to be some people that finish so kudos to them that's awesome um, they're amazing athletes and i'm sure they put hundreds and hundreds of hours into training so that's pretty impressive in the, these conditions this weather you know i had a good time it was rewarding last time when i did the race i was really beat down mentally I don't feel like I was necessarily beat down mentally this time as much as I was just physically beat down. So when I left Strawberry, there was 27, actually 28 people that had dropped out out of the 54. So more than half had dropped out by Strawberry, which is pretty unusual, pretty unique for this race. Uh, there's one gentleman who didn't drop out the night before. He, was, he got up early. He was going to try to make it to Sheridan. I think he only went a few miles down the road and decided there's no way, which I already knew. And I thought about that. I thought about, oh, if I just spend the night at um, Strawberry and get up early, and maybe we can make it up to Sheridan before the cutoff. But then you're just behind the clock the whole rest of the way, and it would have been a really, really tough finish. So I'm going to head home and... Talked to my wife, apparently my tracker wasn't working for a while, so she's a little worried about me. Um, so I'll give her a call as soon as I get some reception here and let them know that I'm good. The good thing was, is I did have a partial Pepsi in my truck when I got back, so that tasted really good. Not sponsored, but I should be. <laughs> 